Hi, it's Pam, the Body Love and Relationship Health Coach. And today, this is the third video regarding the Pyramid of Mastery and the seven areas of constant growth for extraordinary living. And today, we're talking about relationships. As you recall, we were talking about the pyramid, which is shaped just like a triangle. And the base of this um, uh, pyramid was physical body. And the next, we talked about um, emotion and meaning. Today is relationships. And as we were talking about, some people, what they suggest is that these are mastered in succession, meaning from the bottom to the top to actually have uh, success. And um, one thing I wanted to talk about, you know, you, you might say, oh, I know plenty of people who have no problems with their finances and they're not in shape at all. Or plenty of people that have money that don't have um, they have that don't have good physical health but let me tell you why is it so important to master these things in succession and um, we're going to talk about those relationships so relationship when you have relationships there's a component of giving and taking what you call a reciprocity you give I give but when you're you um, become unhealthy or you're laid up in the hospital in the bed somewhere else and now you rely heavily on the people in your relationships to come and cater to you and you absolutely have nothing to give back so you um, let's take a relationship someone might say you know that's what a marriage is all about for better or worse when you enter into a relationship you at least think that for better or wor worse does not mean uh, I'm just gonna let it all go and it doesn't matter and I'm not gonna take care of myself for better or worse should mean that I'm going to do the best I can to take care of myself so you won't have to take care of me. And should something happen, I do expect you to assist me and I'll assist you. Okay? But then when you have not taken good care of yourself, you, you now rely heavily, heavily on other people, which may lead to regret, resentment, anger, depression, people just grieving the loss of being able to do things. You got friends who used to go out and party with, go go do things with, travel with, do stuff with, and now you expect them to stay with you and not be able to do those things because you're thinking that's what a good friend would do, and now they're torn and feel like, oh, you know, I, I mean, I am your best friend, but you know, I, I, I want to go. I want to get out. I want to do something. So that loss not only happens to you, it happens to everyone around you that loves you. Because people who love you do feel a level of obligation. And that's going to wear on your relationship, whether you think, think so or not. So when you go into a relationship, it's best that you master your physical body so that you can have successful relationships. Because even if it's not spoken, having an unhealthy body will wear heavily on your relationship and affect it and may sever many meaningful relationships. So that's relationships. Tomorrow I'll talk about, or the next video, I will talk about time. If you like this video, please like, comment, or share. And then to the next time, you better go show your body some love.